Hey everyone, so let's say you want to create a table in your HTML web page. Okay, so the first table that you are seeing in this presentation is a simple table. You just need to specify the number of rows and the number of columns. And this table has been created in the previous episode. If you didn't see that video, go ahead and watch that video to have a better understanding about how you can create HTML table in your web page. Okay, anyways, the first table is simple table and straightforward to create. However, most of the time when we are working with tables, it is necessary to combine more than one column and rows into one table cell. In this video, we will learn how we can merge HTML table cells. Take a look at the second table. It may look a little bit complex. So your task is to create this kind of table. So in order to create this kind of table, you should know two important table attributes. The first important table attribute is call span attribute. And the second one is row span attribute. Call span attribute defines that the number of columns a cell should span whereas row span attribute defines the number of rows a cell should be span okay now here we have the first table as you see here the hydrogen element occupied the first row and the first column as well as the second row and the first column so these two rows should be merged together just like this one so in this case row span is coming to play as i said before row span defines that the number of rows a cell should span right so in this case we have two rows so the value of row span attribute should be two okay here we have then over here write an attribute row span and its value will be two this means you should merge two rows together and then remove the second the second table cells now let me save and refresh here we have right the two cells are merged together now again observe the third column as you see here these three row is occupied by the oxygen element so these three rows should be merge it together so here we have an oxygen on the third column now we need to have row span again and the value of row span should be one two three that means we should span three rows right three over here and remove this table cells again and remove this okay now let me adjust a little bit and and save and refresh here we have right now let me add a background color over here to add a background color we need to have an attribute which is bg color bg color aqua over here again bg color aqua all right now save and refresh here we have right okay when we come to the third row the space in the third row and the first column as well as the third row in the second column is occupied by the calcium atom so these two columns should be merged together so in order to merge these two columns together you should use another table attribute which is called call span which defines that the number of columns in a cell should span so over here we should span two rows now let's come back to my web editor and over here right call span call span and its value two now let me remove the value of the second column in the third row now save and take a look here we have right okay when we come to the last column the nitrogen atom is occupied the space provided on the fourth row and the second column and the fourth row and the third column so this three column should be merged together so again in order to merge this three column you need to have to use called span as you see here the number of column should span is three one two three and the value of Call span should be 3. Here we have call span and its value 3. Now delete these two table cells. Save and take a look in my web browser. Here we have right. Okay, now let me add a background color BG. Okay, here we have. Now the last thing we need to observe is as you see here, the carbon element it exists four times, so this should be merged together. So again we need to have an attribute which is row span the value of row span should be as you see here one two three four so come over here and write row span and its value will be four now let me delete another table cell which contains a carbon okay now let me save and refresh here we have right the only thing left is adding a background color come over here and write a background color background color 
equals to light pink. Okay, here we have the only thing left is adding a background color on other element, beige color, light gray. Now save and refresh. Here we have right. So okay, another thing you need to know is caption. Caption represents the title of a table. So over here you see that the caption of this table or the title of this table is chemical elements that are found on human body. Take a look, this is the chemical element which are found on human body, hydrogen, nitrogen, magnesium, phosphorus, and so on and so on, carbon. This is all about today's video. If you have any question concerned here, let me know in the comment section below. If this content is valuable, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell icon to be notified when I come out a daily training video just like this one. With that being said, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.